Hello, welcome to AI PPI. We're glad you decided to join us. I'm Isabelle Chabot, a Canadian member of AI PPI and a member of the Bureau. I'll be your host for this information session about AI PPI. First, what does AI PPI stand for? It's actually an acronym for the French language version of the name International Association for the Protection of Intellectual Property. AIPPI's mission is the worldwide harmonization of intellectual property laws. The annual Congress is the one moment in the year when members from all around the world discuss hot topics in IP and contribute to a harmonized view on what the law should be. AIPPI was created in 1897, shortly following the signature of the Paris Convention for the Protection of Industrial Property in 1883. It is therefore 123 years old. AIPPI is the world's largest association dedicated to all types of IP. It's the only association without any geographical or professional restrictions. AIPPI has a balanced approach to the interests of all IP stakeholders. Diversity is valued and encouraged. It has a truly global reach. There are about 9,000 members in 70 national and regional groups who come from around 137 countries around the world. AIPPI is composed of different bodies, which each have a role in the association. I'm going to present each one of them shortly. The General Secretariat is responsible for the administrative management of AIPPI and the organization of Congresses. Arno Hold, the Executive Director, manages the General Secretariat with a permanent staff. The offices are in Zurich, Switzerland. The members are individuals interested in IP protection. Anyone who has an interest in IP can become a member. Members are lawyers, litigators, patent attorneys, patent agents, trademark agents, in-house counsels, judges, professors, scientists, engineers, IP owners, marketing and advertisement professionals, product designers, etc. They must join a national or regional group we call them NRGs, from the country where they reside and where they practice. If no group exists in their country or region, they can become an independent member. For example, there are independent members in Chinese Taipei, Hong Kong, Cyprus, Slovakia, Iran. The Council of Presidents is made up of the presidents of all of the groups. These are typically experienced AIPPI members who meet to discuss ways to improve the association. A great way to get involved in pursuing AIPPI's mission while carrying out networking with individuals with a common interest is to get involved in one of the committees. The statutory committees concern the administration of the association. This includes program, finance, nominations, membership, communications, and Congress venue selection. The Bureau Advisory Committees are created when a specific topic needs to be explored to help the Bureau form an opinion. We currently have an in-house or industry members committee. The study committees are created every year to manage the study questions process and bring a topic under study to its conclusion as a harmonization resolution. The standing committees guarantee that AIPPI is promptly informed about current developments in specific fields of IP and monitors the long-range projects of international legal development. The standing committees concern a particular area of IP law, for example, patents, trademarks, copyright, designs. A particular topic relevant to IP, for example, green technology and commercialization of IP or emerging areas and new developments relevant to IP, for example, free trade agreements or the unified European patent system. Any member may become an observer of a standing committee prior to determining if they wish to become an official member. The most up-to-date list of committees, the terms of references, and the, me the members who are currently members of the committee can be found on the website. The Bureau 
is the board of directors of AIPPI. It directs the act activities of AIPPI and represents AIPPI. It includes four teams in a different color on this slide. The presidency in blue chairs the association and the bureau. Renata is the current president. Luis Enrique and Soichi are vice presidents. The treasurer, general in green, is in charge of financial resources. Peter is our current TG. The secretary general team in yellow, referred usually within AIPPI as SGT, is responsible for the administration of the association and the relationships with the national and regional groups. It's responsible for the statutory committees. Marek is our current secretary general. Annie and Nasli are deputies, and I am an assistant. The reporter general team in red on the slide, referred internally as RGT, organizes the substantive work of the association and more particularly the study question process, as well as the professional development program at the Congress. The RGT is also responsible for the standing committees. John is our reporter general. Anne-Marie and Ari are deputies. Raf, Lena and Guillaume are assistant. The executive committee is the decision-making body of AIPPI. It includes delegates from all of the groups. The number of delegates is proportional to the number of members in the group. Each group determines who becomes an official delegate within its ranks by choosing a group leadership. The EXCO currently has 371 delegates. The annual Congress is an occasion for AIPPI's members to come together to discuss IP. It includes four main components, the Substantive Legal Work or Harmonization Program, the Professional Development Component, the Management of the Association, and the Networking Opportunities. The Reporter General Team is responsible for handling the study question process. This year, the four questions under study are for patents, inventorship of inventions made using artificial intelligence, for trademarks, descriptive use as a defense in trademark proceedings, for copyright, rights and data, and the general question this year, standing to litigate and the effect on remedies. The work done at the Congress relies on a considerable effort put in by dedicated members in each of the national groups to describe their country's position on the topic under review and to propose a harmonization avenue. The draft harmonization resolutions are analyzed, discussed and formulated by the representatives. The reporter general ensures that harmonization resolutions are voted upon by the EXCO at the conclusion of the Congress. An important component of the Congress is the professional development opportunities. The standing committees and the program committee work hard each year with the reporter general team to identify timely topics of interest and select speakers which have an in-depth knowledge of the issues at play. Contrary to what is seen in other congresses, the panel sessions here are well attended and lively. Now that we have covered what is AIPPI and the components of the Congress, let's talk about what happens next. The national and regional groups continue the work of AIPPI locally. The resolutions that are voted upon by the EXCO are communicated to lawmaking bodies and IP-related activities are organized locally. National and regional groups also propose timely issues for the next study questions and topics for professional development and nominations for the committees. The guidelines for the next Congress study questions usually go out before Christmas and the members kick off the year working on the preparation of the national response to the questionnaires. We find that people who get involved with the association benefit the most out of their participation in the Congress. When hot topics are discussed with colleagues from around the world, networking occurs without any particular effort. The national and regional groups are a great place to start. The energy leadership is always looking for volunteers to help prepare the questionnaire for the next study questions. 
Attending events and discussing harmonization is a great opportunity to get involved. It was my pleasure to introduce you to AIPPI, and please don't hesitate to contact any of us at the Bureau if you have any more questions. Looking forward to seeing you soon at the Congress.